don't buy it. Cause don't. There's a bunch of other fragrances cheaper. This is retail for like 79, 80 bucks. I didn't pay that. Crazy. This joint is back on eBay. I'm selling it. Listen, if you wanna buy it. Okay. Hear me out. I disagree. Stay tuned. What's up, y'all? My name is Matt, and I go by Georgia Gent. Uh, if you're new here, I like to do a lot of fragrance reviews, unboxings, and live streams. If that sounds kind of cool to you, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe down below. But the fragrance that we're talking about today is going to be from YSL. It's L'Homme Au Team. Um, this has slowly but surely turned into one of my favorite fragrances that I have. I don't understand where the you know, mild and negative reviews come from it. I mean, it, it is a few years old, but it's new to me this year at least. Um, y'all love it. Let's go ahead and get into the notes. The uh, top notes are gonna be ginger, grapefruit, and cardamom. It's the cardamom that we know from the loam line, like, you know, uh, Lana Wheat de Loam and Standard Loam. Uh, but the grapefruit and ginger combination is just something that's really special to me. Um, the heart notes are gonna be sage, rose, and geranium. Now, in my opinion, this is a very masculine rose, I guess. It's, it's not a feminine whatsoever. Um, and then the base, you have your cedar wood and vetiver. I think that's that's why I, I lean towards it and, and, and like it a lot, is because that, that vetiver cedar wood that, that is in the base in the dry down. Um, it, like I said, it was released in 2016. It is a EDP concentration, which was kind of surprising to me. Um, so the YSL Ultim it represent, represents the contrast between freedom and control. It conveys a man who, sedu who seduces women and inspires men. Um, it's defined as an aromatic, woody, and intense. The fruity uh, opening, spiced with ginger and cardamom, a heart of masculine rose and cedar and vetiver. I don't want to read any more of that. Um, but guys, I love it. It's uh, it's one of the ones that I can put on any day of the week. It's, it's one of my smart reaches that I can, when I'm looking over my shelf and I don't know what to grab, it's one I can go for and just kind of toss it in my bag and know that I might need to respray. Whatever. Um, as you guys can see here, I put a little dent into it. If I hadn't gotten all these this year, this would have been empty, empty by now. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's uh, it's it comes in two sizes. It comes in a 60 milliliter and 100 milliliter. Um, it's created by Anne Filippo uh, and two others. I'll list their names here. I don't want to butcher their names. Um, but guys, uh, this was my go-to this, this this summer when I wanted to smell nice and didn't want to pull something that was, that was too expensive. Um, because it is, it is a little expensive, um, uh, but I mean, all, all the YSL products tend to be kind of pricey, but they're, but they're higher in designer, I guess. Um, but you can find them at places like Belk or Macy's or really anywhere. Um, if you haven't got your nose on this, this one yet, I highly suggest that you do. I highly suggest that you do. Um, I haven't seen anyone selling decants of it or anything, um, but it, I would suggest going to your local retail store and you know put it on your skin a couple times, walk it around a little bit and see if you like it. I like it because it's a fresher take on the loam line. It's a fresher take on the original loam. It's a fresher take on the line of wheat de loam. Um, and it's just, I wear it and I get compliments. It's not my most compliment heavy fragrance that I have, but it is one of them. It's because girls like them, like it a lot. Um, now some alternatives to this. Now these aren't fragrances that necessarily smell the same. I just kind of see them as alternatives. That would be Blue Cedar Cypress by Cremo. It gives me the same kind of rejuvenating feeling when I spray it. Um, Renaissance by Zerjoff, same thing, same citrusy opening that is kind of refreshing. Um, now that's that's a up here kind of kind of price, but I have it and that's what I can that's what I can relate to it. Um, lastly, would be John Barbados Arts and Pure. Now the Renaissance and, and, and Barbados Arts and Pure are pretty similar, um, but I'll do a bit video on that later on. Um, guys, if you, I highly suggest going to give, give this a shot. Um, I love it, and I figured that I'll put this out tonight. Uh, anyways, guys, keep it gent and love your scent, and I'll see y'all.